everyone, welcome to part 2 of our Singapore trip. After exploring Singapore's top attractions, we could not resist exploring further. Check out the part 1 of our Singapore trip in my previous video. Previously, we wandered through the vibrant streets of Kampong Glam and Chinatown. Now, we will be exploring Little India. As we strolled through a small park, I saw this thing swinging on its own. I could not explain what's going on. Anyway, we realized our hotel is just close to Little India. We began strolling around and explored this vibrant street. Little India is an ethnic district in Singapore that is filled with captivating mix of timeless traditions, stunning modern architecture, and charming shops filled with traditional garments and intricate jewelry, a feast for the senses at every turn. As we were walking, I can see that it is where tradition meets trend. Buzzing with cafes, boutiques, and timeless historical temples, it's a neighborhood that seamlessly blends the old with the new. We got really hungry, so it's time to explore some street food. Boogie Street Market is a treasure trove of bargains. Known as one of Singapore's most affordable spots, it's the go-to destination for souvenirs, trendy accessories, clothing, electronics, home goods, and cosmetics. A few moments later, we arrived at this hawker center. We ordered a steaming plate of noodles and the iconic Hainanese chicken rice, a must-try dish that's popular in Singapore. Hawker centers are open-air hubs offering diverse, affordable dishes and are a cornerstone of Singapore's culture. After dinner, we headed straight to the street food. We tried some of these kaya balls and it was interesting. We also tried this herbal tea egg and it really tasted like tea. My stomach, however, was not a fan and I seriously ended up in the restroom right after this. We tried more street food such as this fried skewers. After indulging in Singapore's street food, we stumbled upon a lively street buzzing with outdoor bars packed with both locals and visitors. Later, we made our way back to Haji Lane and it was as vibrant at night as it was under the daylight. After a few drinks and on our way back, we stumbled upon an amazing orange juice machine and I was completely captivated watching it extract fresh pure juice from four whole oranges. Let's explore the Art Science Museum. I was always captivated by its stunning design and seeing it up close now has left me just as in awe, if not more. The Art Science Museum, an iconic cultural landmark at Marina Bay Sands, is a must visit for art and innovation lovers. With 21 gallery spaces, it's hosted spectacular exhibitions blending creativity and technology in truly unforgettable ways. Inside, we explored the future world. It's like an immersive gallery where art meets science. This iconic installation called Sketch Aquarium displays a digital underwater world where visitors of all ages can draw colorful sea creatures. I made a giant squid. I was fascinated that once my work was scanned in this machine, my drawing came to life, swimming freely in the vibrant virtual aquarium. Here's the short drawing that my sister made. There are so many interactive installations here where people of all ages will surely enjoy. My younger self would have loved this magical place. We stumbled upon an interactive artwork called Aerial Climbing and of course we had to give it a go. To our surprise, my mom totally nailed it and she was a natural. Our final stop was the mesmerizing crystal universe where countless light points create the illusion of stars drifting through space. A truly otherworldly experience. Let's try another one of Singapore's iconic dishes called bak kut teh, which literally means pork bone tea. It is a flavorful soup made with simmered pork bones, meat, and medicinal herbs. Known for its rich taste and health benefits, it's a beloved local delicacy. It kind of tastes like all your health issues will be healed right after this. <laughs> Try 
Jumu Changi is a breathtaking nature-inspired entertainment and retail paradise seamlessly connected to Changi Airport's terminal. At its heart lies the stunning rain vortex, the world's tallest indoor waterfall surrounded by a lush, terraced forest that creates a truly magical experience. Jewel was designed to elevate Changi Airport's reputation, solidifying its position as a premier aviation hub in the Asia-Pacific region. A few moments later, we explored the Jewel Canopy Park. It is located at the topmost level and it houses recreation and leisure attractions such as sky nets, discovery slides, and more. Singapore loves adding water elements into their designs since it is said to bring abundance and prosperity. I love the dome with its lattice work. We just chilled and relaxed in this amazing place. Afterwards, we passed by the airport and found this machine cleaning the floors. We stopped by at this hologram of a waterfall. They love water so much. And since we're already here, we decided to try the Kaya Toast, a popular Singaporean snack often eaten for breakfast or in the afternoon. It's crispy toast with butter and sweet coconut kaya jam, usually served with kopi and soft-boiled eggs. Everything is so convenient here in Singapore. On our last day here, we tried buying a meal in this machine and it surely served a real meal in a box. Singapore is a truly remarkable destination where innovation, culture, and art seamlessly come together. From the stunning architecture to the vibrant food scene and creative experiences, this city offers something for every traveler. Singapore is definitely a must visit. Stay tuned for part 3 of our adventure where I'll be sharing our unforgettable experience at Universal Studios and Sentosa. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more travel and art videos. See you again in my next video. Bye!